Hey guys, Vince here. Just gonna be showing you how to do a quick uh, tire change tutorial. All right, what you're gonna need is to, you need your jack, your uh, tire wrench, a torque wrench, and a 19 millimeter if you have wheels like this. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is in order to start jacking up your car, you have these little arrows, little indents, and they show you exactly where to put it. So you take your jack, slide underneath the arrow, right underneath the rail. Okay, so you want to get it nice and snug right here, underneath, and just twist it as hard as you can with your hand. Next, what you want to do is the term is cracking the wheel, cracking the wheel lug. So. So you don't want to take them off all the way, but just get them loose. See? A little loose there. And the next one. Loose. You want to go in a star pattern as well. Decently loose. Make sure she's nice and straight. Good underneath. Yeah, nice contact. Just so seat it properly. Start going. Just want to go until she's a little off the ground, and then since you already cracked it, because if you try turning the lug with the, the car elevated, just a wheel will turn and nothing else. So you want to crack them while it's on the ground, and then start going. Okay, she's off the ground now. All right, so now the car is off the ground. Stick her in there and just start taking off the lugs. Okay, there we go. See how you want to go in a star pattern every time, no matter what you're doing, it's just good practice. Just to, uh, especially when you're putting your tires back on, that's when it actually matters the most. So once the tires off, here you go. All right, so the next thing to putting your tire back on is uh, look for identification marks around the tire telling you which direction that the vehicle moves so if you've mixed your tires up you know you're not putting them on a uh, different direction because every tread is made to go a certain direction like you're not supposed to drive in reverse like 50 kilometers or you ruin your tire obviously because it's made to go forward so now we'll just throw the tire back on and I'll explain everything I'm doing First, you want to line it up. Lift. Okay. Now yeah, that the tire is on, you want to hand tighten them in your star method. So, star method here.
Okay. Hand tight. Go in that star method, as I showed you before. And just keep doing it. Over. Over. Over again. Just want to keep going in that star method. And you'll see the wheel start to sit in a certain direction, nice and flat. But every time you do that, one of them will get looser. So that's why you keep going in that star method until she's done. So we'll carry on from there. Make sure they're all nice and tight. Just hand tight to start. And that star method. Okay. Tighten again. Now has a chance to be pretty rough. Make sure you. This is absolutely important. You do that star pattern. Okay. Now that they're all nice and tight. I'll get a torque wrench with our 19 millimeter socket. Okay, throw that bad boy on there. For your torque wrench, you want to go 100 foot pounds. That's what a normal car is maxed out at. Okay. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's at 100 pounds. Okay. Now using the torque wrench. Using the torque wrench, let's put this point. There you go. You give her a good push. Once you hear that click, you know it's at 100. That click is what tells you to stop. Pulling the star method again. And done. That's it. Well, actually, I'd even say 80 to 100. You get out and you re torque your tires. You do this again. Just to ensure that if the star method failed, you will tighten them back up to 100, and then she'll be good to go. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.